You're watching Chicago Bears Now. I am your host, as always, Harrison Graham. We've got a lot of rumors and news to get into on today's show, so strap your seatbelt on because we're going to get into a lot of draft talk as well. Ted Phillips, I know you guys have been asking about him. Is he retiring? I'm going to give this one two smoking jays. People are talking. I think I'd put this at about a 50-50 chance right now. David Kaplan out of ESPN Chicago, uh, ESPN 1000 in Chicago, uh, has uh, this rumor right here saying from a source he's heard, Phillips could retire at season's end. And I know a lot of you guys blame Ted Phillips for a lot of the stuff. He hires everybody. He doesn't know football. He's been with the organization since the 80s. He's been the team president since 1999. Sure, he doesn't have a football background, but he has been around the game for quite a long time. I will say this. This could be the best result for both parties at this point, right? Like, if you're the Bears and you're serious about uh, rebuilding and starting fresh, maybe you get rid of everybody, including Ted Phillips and obviously Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace as well. So I'm certainly open to getting a new team president in there. Here's the quote from Kaplan uh, saying, I got a text from a good friend who's wildly connected to that building known as Hallis Hall. He texted me and said, you didn't get this one from me. Don't be shocked if Ted Phillips announces he's retiring at the end of the season. Not reporting it's a done deal. I'm just telling you that someone who's been a reliable source to me said he believes Ted might retire. So if you want Ted Phillips gone, if you want him out of there, type me in the comment section. Go ahead and let me know if you do. Easiest way to do that, just type me in the comments. If you type me, that means you want Ted Phillips gone. So go ahead and let me know. I can get a couple of shout outs here real quick. Chris Malone says me. Rain Icy says me. Brian says me. If you're watching a lot on YouTube, not part of our live show, we'll make this the pinned comment. So go ahead and type me right there. So two smoking J's for Ted Phillips retiring. Maybe you guys don't know what a smoking J is. So let me know. Let me show you guys what the smoking J rumor meter looks like. Uh, we do this at a couple of our other shows here at Chat Sports, but uh, we wanted to launch this here on Chicago Bears. Now zero smoking J's equals fake news. It's not going to happen. One smoking J means it's barely true. Think of a 25% chance it could happen. Two smoking J's, people are talking, it's 50-50. Uh, three smoking J's, pretty likely 70-75%. And then four smoking J's equals bear down for that because it's going to happen. So I got two smoking J's on Ted Phillips. I'd put it at a 50-50 chance or so. That's why we're going with two right there. How about this? Is it time to tank? I'm going to give this one four smoking J's. I'm off the 2020 season bandwagon. I've, I'm done. I've seen enough. And I don't want something weird to happen where, you know, Mitchell Trubisky plays pretty well and they're like, oh, let's bring him back. No, it's time to tank and look for 2021. This one's coming from me. I, no one's reporting this. No one's throwing this one out there. Me, Harrison Graham, host of Chicago Bears now on YouTube, it's time to tank. I'm done with this season. You lose six in a row, this team has gotten exposed. I've been a Matt Nagy defender quite a bit, but at this point, let's try something else. Ryan Pace definitely needs out. I know you guys want Ted Phillips out. We can get rid of him too. You know, if Nagy needs to go too, I'm fine with that. New regime, new leadership, that's probably what this organization needs. I know this, it's time to tank. I'm done with the 2020 NFL season when it comes to the Chicago Bears. Four smoking Jays on that one because... Look, maybe they won't tank, but I'm saying they should. That's why I'm giving it four. It's over, guys. Even if this team won three out of four or somehow won all four, snuck into the playoffs, they're not doing anything. We'll talk about the playoff picture later on, but it's time to punt on this season, get a new quarterback in here, get a new coaching staff, and let's look ahead to 2021. Before we get to our next rumor, thank you guys so much for helping us get to 17,000 subs. I actually checked recently. Uh, January 7th was our first episode here on Chicago Bears Now, the first video we uploaded. So we've hit over 17,000 subs in less than 12 months. Give yourself a pat on the back for that one. If you haven't subbed already, hit that subscribe button because we're plugging out videos every single day here on Chicago Bears Now, including our Matt Nagy replacements video. No, he hasn't been fired yet, but I took a look at 10 candidates that the Bears could hire if they move on from Matt Nagy. Posted that on the channel yesterday. Look for this photo. That's the video you're looking for. You click on the link and you can watch it right there. Tons of different videos planned for you guys. Tons of good ones already on there, so subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our coverage here on Chicago Bears Now. 
Now you look at the Bears' results in 2020, this is why they need to tank, because they tricked us into thinking uh, that they could be a good team. We'll always have the Nick Foles come back in Atlanta, but who really cares? Things started to fall apart after that. They switched to Foles. Oh, they teased us again. They beat the Bucs. They beat the Panthers. They're 5-1. and one. And then they lost six games in a row. Rams on Monday Night Football exposed. Lost to the Saints. Titans got blown out. Got a couple of late garbage time touchdowns there. Couldn't beat Minnesota. Obliterated by the Packers. Blows a 10-point lead against Detroit in what I called Matt Nagy's last stand before that game. To me, that was the final straw. I'm done. 2020's over with. And the unfortunate part about this is that the schedule's not that tough the rest of the way. That way, that's why if you would have beaten Detroit, you could say, hey, let's still swing for the playoffs. But I don't want to see it. I think this team should tank and try to lose as many games as possible. It's going to be hard to do that against Jacksonville in Week 16. But luckily, the Texans don't have a first-round pick, so they're not going to be playing to lose by any means. So I ask you guys, is it time for the Bears to tank? Why for yes, in for no? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Should Chicago tank the rest of the season and try and lose out? Let me know what you guys think down below. Something that can make you some money is uh, Bet Rivers. And I've been telling you guys to bet the under. I've flipped. Bet the over the rest of the way because this defense is falling apart. Chatsports.com slash betil or chatsports.com slash betin. They're going to give you a 100% deposit match. You can sign up and deposit from anywhere in the U.S., but to actually place a bet, you must be within state lines of either Illinois or Indiana, hence the two different links there. For you Illinois folks, it's chatsports.com slash betil. For Indiana, it's chatsports.com slash betin. The Bears are a hard team to bet on, so maybe if you don't trust them, bet on some other NFL games. But, hey, bet the over because uh, this offense is playing better, but the defense is playing worse. I think the over-under is at, like, 44.5 this week with the Texans. So uh, go ahead and bet on that one. How about drafting a quarterback in the first round? I'm going to give this one three smoking Jays. I think it's pretty likely. Now, 75%, which is what three smoking Jays would mean, might be a little high, but I think it's greater than 50-50. So that's why I'm going to give it three there. I think that uh, if the Bears keep losing like uh, they have been, they're going to get closer to that top 10 pick. They currently sit at 13th in the draft pecking order. And you get into that top 10, top 12, you got a good chance at getting one of those top four quarterbacks. At least you're in range to trade up if you want to. If you're at like 15, 16, 17, it's a lot of draft capital to get up into the top seven, top eight. So I think you're creeping closer to that range where you can get one of those top four guys. As of now, these are the draft standings. Shout out to Greg Williams for keeping the Jets winless. They're 0-12. Jacksonville's 1-11. Cincinnati at 2-9-1 there. The Chargers at 3-9. And, and then the Cowboys, who actually play on Tuesday night. So if you're watching live, uh, they could be 3-9 and nine or 4-8, and eight depending. But that doesn't really affect the Bears because the Bears have five wins. Eagles are at 3-8-1. and one. The Panthers, Falcons. Dolphins via the Texans, because they have the Texans' first-round pick. Shout-out Bill O'Brien. And then the Broncos with the number 10 pick. And then you see the Bears here at number 13. Tiebreaker scenarios here. That's why they're behind Washington and the Lions. But then uh, the 49ers and Cardinals round out your top 15. So as of now, Bears got the number 13 overall pick. And, uh, hey, they're creeping up to that top 10 where they could potentially get a quarterback. Will Chicago draft a quarterback in round one? Type 1 for yes. Type 2 for no, I think there's a pretty good chance they will at this point. They need a quarterback. This franchise needs some energy, and drafting a quarterback in round one makes a ton of sense. So go ahead and get your votes in. The top four prospects, you're not getting Trevor Lawrence, so forget about that. Justin Fields, I don't think it's very likely, but I actually saw a mock draft recently that had Zach Wilson going ahead of him, so who knows? Zach Wilson out of BYU, I think has passed Trey Lance at this point just because Lance hasn't played football this year. I think he's a little more raw. Uh, I think him not being able to play in this season has hurt him a little bit, but I still think he'll go in the top 10, top 15. Those are your top four guys, and those second two are kind of the ones you're looking at, Zach Wilson and Trey Lance. Now, you kind of go back a little bit to the standings here. Teams ahead of the Bears in the current draft picking order that need a quarterback. Jets, obviously, they're tanking for Trevor. Jags, same deal. They're going to take Lawrence or uh, Wilson or Fields, probably Fields. I put Washington in here because Alex Smith is a great story, but he's like 37 now. I think they've punted on Dwayne Haskins at this point, so I think there's a pretty good chance they'll go quarterback in round one. You need to root for Washington to keep winning so the Bears can get behind them. These teams are possible quarterback teams. 
The Eagles just named Jalen Hurts their starter. If he does not play well, you bench Carson Wentz and Hurts isn't the guy, he might be drafting a quarterback in Philly. So uh, you, you guys need to be cheering for uh, Jalen Hurts to play well enough for them to not draft a quarterback. Carolina, do they like Bridgewater enough to not draft a quarterback? We'll see. Falcons, Matt Ryan's 35. If the right guy's there, they may draft him. Denver, Drew Locke ain't it, guys. They may draft a quarterback. And then Detroit as well, kind of similar with the Falcons. Matt Stafford's getting up there in age. They might just be drafting a quarterback. So those are teams in the mix. Super chat from S.A. Spurs. You should have drafted Mahomes or Watson. Obviously, while we're on the quarterback discussion of someone to draft, uh, yeah, you uh, traded up for Trubisky instead of drafting Mahomes and Watson, and that is why Ryan Pace will be unemployed in the next month. Next rumor here, Bears beating the Texans. We're talking about tanking in next season. It's still two smoking Jays. Uh, they got a decent chance because Houston is not great and you get them at home. Now, I will say this. Vegas has gone so south on the Bears that even though they're favorite or uh, they're, uh, they got a better record and they're at home, they still have Houston as one and a half point favorites. And again, you can bet on this game with Bet Rivers at chatsports.com slash betil. For you Illinois folks, chatsports.com slash betin. For you Indiana folks, uh, I like the over in this game. Not sure how I feel about the one and a half points uh, going in favor of Houston yet. I kind of like Houston, and I'm hoping that happens because the Bears need to tank. Shout out to Sean Watson revenge game. That's what I say. You guys were just asking about uh, why the Bears should have drafted him or Mahomes. And, hey, you, you don't think Watson remembers that? I think he does. He's going to come out, play well, and uh, I like Houston in this ball game. Again, you can go bet on it at Bet Rivers. Texans, one-and-a-half-point favorites, over-under set at 44-and-a-half. Go make some money at Bet Rivers if you're feeling confident about this one. I like the over. The Bears have hammered the over the last couple of weeks. 66 points and 64 between the two teams combined in their last two games. 44-and-a-half, that's way too low. The last one here, the Bears making the playoffs. We keep talking about tanking, but the playoffs are not dead. One smoking J. It's not fake news. It could happen. It's barely true at this point, but there is a chance. Look at the remaining schedule. We looked at it earlier. Houston, yeah, I don't think they'll win, but it's not like Houston's going to come in and blow out the Bears, I don't think. At Minnesota, tough game. They're playing better, but... Vikings are 6-6. Six and six. They're certainly not great by any means. Jacksonville's tanking, and then who knows? Packers might have things locked up by Week 17, depending on what happens with the Saints. So it's the weirder things have happened, right? Like, I don't think it's good if the Bears win two or three and sneak into the playoffs, but, uh, you know, it's not impossible with the remaining schedule because that number seven seed is 6-6, six and six, and there's a bunch of 5-7 and seven teams, including the Bears. One smoking Jay, I think there's a little bit of a chance – that it could happen, but it's unlikely. And when you lose six in a row, you could lose to anybody. So I'm not expecting it, but I won't rule out the possibility.